scalpel. Screwdriver. Clamp. Life support, stat. I finally got myself a new barbecue. The main reason is I don't want to give my family tetanus. The last barbecue has had kind of a rough go of it. So I figured it was time to finally upgrade. And as a typical engineer, the first thing I'm going to do is automate it. Hey, I'm Dave, welcome back to the Armory, and today we're gonna to use Herman to be able to cook the perfect steak every time on the new barbecue. This is a pretty quick and easy project, but it's been on my bucket list forever. Figured I would get this one done while I had bigger, more complicated projects in the works. Make sure to subscribe so you get notified when those actually go up. First, I need a spatula to be able to pick up under the meat. In hindsight, getting one cut out of stainless on a laser cutter would have been the best way to get this done, but I had this old spatula laying around the house that I wasn't using, so I just cut it into shape. The big part of this is that the tines actually fit down in between the bars on the barbecue. That makes it so I can position the spatula underneath the steak and then lift straight up. Since the end of the arm has a lot of plastic on it, as this isn't a heat rated robot, I ended up 3D printing a little mount so I could put a small stainless heat shield on the end of the robot. I'm hoping that because the heat shield is reflective and the robot isn't hanging out over the grill for too long, the mount won't melt, but we'll have to see if that's how it works. Now that it's all put together, I need a simple way to control it. As usual, the easiest way is just a simple web interface that you can bring up on your phone. I also put a touch screen right beside the robot, thinking that anyone could go up and order directly off the screen. So you pick which type of steak you want, what cook you want, and then you just hit go. The arm will pick up the steak and put it on the grill. Once it's on the grill, it'll use the force feedback on the arm to actually come down and touch the top of the steak. The arm knows where the bottom of the steak is because it just put it on the grill. Then, using force feedback, it'll go down until it feels that it's touching the top of the steak and it will measure that height as well, getting the total thickness of the steak. Once you know exactly how thick the steak is, you can calculate how long you need to cook on each side to get that specific cook that someone requested. The thickness of every single steak is different, so making sure you get an accurate thickness measurement will go a long way to having super consistent steaks. Halfway through each side, the robot will pick up the steak and turn it 90 degrees and put it back down. And that will give you the really nice grid pattern. Of course, once the first side has been on for as long as it's supposed to, the arm will pick it up and flip the steak over. Once the steak is all done, the arm will pick it up and take it off to let the meat rest. This is Herman's second foray into cooking. It was definitely an improvement over the spaghetti, but I think I'm still the grill master for now. As far as the whole system, there's a couple improvements that I can think of. One would be a much larger spatula for lifting up the steaks. That would make it much easier to accommodate different sizes and shapes of steaks. Also, being able to have a much larger arm that can reach the entire grill would go a long way, because that way you could cook like eight steaks at once and have all of the steaks come off at the same time. That would just be some minor scheduling in the software, so it wouldn't even be that hard to put in. The problem is Herman's just too small to do that. If you have any questions or suggestions for other videos, put that down in the comments section. Also, if you like this video or wanna see others, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and hit the little bell so you get notified when new videos come out. Robots are awesome, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.